So you think you know net zero? Until you understand where net zero by 2050 comes from, you'll struggle to understand how to respond to it. Let's have a look at what you need to know. We first need to understand our current emissions rate and how we go from there to zero. On this graph, we've got global CO2 emissions in billions of tonnes per year. Along here is the year. In 2020, global CO2 emissions were 40 billion tonnes. As you know, the Paris Agreement committed us to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. To stay below 1.5 degrees of warming, we need to cut net CO2 emissions to zero by mid-century. But why net zero by 2050? How do we know this keeps us below 1.5 degrees of warming? It's all about our total carbon budget, because that's what determines climate change, as we're about to see. The area of this blue triangle can be calculated to work out our carbon budget. You know how to do this for a rectangle. Length multiplied by width equals area. For our triangle, you've simply got to halve it. This reveals our global carbon budget is around 600 billion additional tonnes of CO2 for a 50% chance of staying below 1.5 degrees of warming. But where have we pulled this 600 billion tonnes from? Let's look at a fundamental relationship in climate science. Cumulative emissions, along here, are the total CO2 emissions that we've added to the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. Up here is global temperature change. The reason we refer to cumulative instead of yearly emissions is because when we add carbon to the atmosphere, it stays there. Imagine the atmosphere as a bathtub. We've had the taps on non-stop since the Industrial Revolution. What matters is not how quickly the bathtub fills, but the total amount we can add to it before it overflows. That's what drives climate change. The only way to limit warming is to stop putting carbon into the atmosphere altogether. In short, turning the taps off and reaching zero emissions. Let's start in 1850, the Industrial Revolution. Cumulative emissions are negligible. Temperature change is barely detectable. Adding all data points from 1850 to 2020, humans have emitted around 2,000 billion tonnes of CO2. The average temperature is about 1.2 degrees warmer. This relationship between cumulative emissions and temperature change now tells us our remaining carbon budget, if we want to stay below 1.5 degrees of warming, around 600 billion tonnes of CO2. Remember our triangle? We know we're limited to an additional 600 billion tonnes of CO2 emissions and we are currently emitting 40 billion tonnes per year. This is why we must reduce to net zero by 2050. But of course, if we don't reduce emissions, we only have around 15 years before the 600 billion tonne budget is blown. Back to our triangle and staying below our budget. If you know your current annual emissions and the number of years until your net zero target, any individual or organisation can work out their carbon budget, just like we did with our triangle earlier. So, what's yours?